Hi, my name is Danielle, and I'm here to show you how easy it is to flavor using the FlavorX system. Prior to starting your compound, you'll actually obtain the recipe for your medication using the Digital Flavorist. For more information on this topic, please refer to the video titled Using the Digital Flavorist. I've already obtained the recipe we'll be using today for this video, and today we'll be treating a 10-pound cat with a thyroid issue. So we'll be starting on Mephimazole for 14 days. Now typically this would be a 30-day prescription, but for demoing purposes, we're going to keep to the 14-day prescription. The first step is to count out the patient's medication. I've already counted out 14 tablets and added them to my mixing bowl or my mortar. The next step will be to use the pestle to crush the tablets uh, to reduce them to a fine powder. So while I'm doing that, um, it's important to note that everything you see in front of you, the mortar and pestle, the spatula, the graduated cylinder, um, a series of flavors, as well as the compounding vehicles, are included in your kit. You'll also receive some additional items such as the syringes, um, adapter caps, and um, the vials for dispensing to your customers. So you get quite a bit with your kit. Alright, so I've reduced the 14 tablets down to a fine powder. And the next step is going to be to add the suspending vehicles. The first one I'm going to add is the Vet Syrup. The Vet Syrup is a thick and sweet suspension vehicle. It's not recommended for use in diabetic animals. So for your diabetic patients, you'll actually use the VersaFree uh, diabetic solution. Uh, the digital flavorist will guide you to use the solution when necessary. This is again a sugar-free vehicle, great for your diabetic patients as well as your smaller animals where you want to monitor the amount of sugar in their diet. So for this specific recipe, we'll be adding 7 ml of the vet syrup. When adding your suspending vehicles, you want to add a little bit at a time and mix as you go. So I'm just going to add about a third of the initial solution. Mix it up. Add a little more. Continue mixing to get a consistent slurry. And then add the remaining Once the vet syrup is added, the next step is to add the feline solution. The feline solution is created for um, the cat population. It is a thinner solution with um, a salty flavor, so it's a little bit more palatable for cats. And again, on this um, prescription, we're doing 7 mLs as well. Uh, most often, when you're using the feline solution, which won't be for all prescriptions, it depends on the solubility. Um, for cats, though, it's usually a 50-50 dilution with the vet syrup. So same thing, adding in small amounts and mixing as we go. All right, so the next step is to add the sweetening enhancer and the flavor. We'll start with the sweetening enhancer. For this recipe, it calls for 0.7 mLs. The sweetening enhancer that we use is derived from the root in Brazil. Its job is to not only enhance the flavor, but also to neutralize the bitterness of the medicine. Uh, the sweetening enhancer is safe for uh, animals with diabetes. So I'm gonna drop 0.7 mLs and add that directly to the liquid that we have so far. That in. And now we'll move on to the flavor. Um, for this recipe, we're using grilled tuna. We also have for our cats um, fish chowder as well as a salmon flavor if you want to stay in the fish species. And for this one, we're going to add 0.6 mLs. One thing I want to point out before I add the flavor are our perfect plugs. These are great for not only the flavors, they help reduce the, the spilling of the flavor as well as cross-contamination. They can also be used for both the one ounce and two ounce um, vials that are included in your kit to send home with the patients. So add the flavor. And then finally we're going to thoroughly mix 
mix all of the ingredients together before transferring it into the bottle to go home. We're done. For more information or any questions, please don't hesitate to call. Our number here is 1-800-884-5771. Thank you.